this is before. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the easiest way possible to uh, whitewash a faux brick wall. Let me tell you, I watched so many videos and they were, they were all just a little too complicated for me. This is literally super easy. Let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. Couple things you're gonna need. Okay, for starters, you're gonna need some paint. I have a white and then I've got like a little bit of an off-white. Um, you don't have to have two different colors. I just chose to use two for a little bit more depth. I don't really know if it adds a little bit more depth, but you know, it made me feel better to use it and I already had it around, so I went for it. Um, and you're obviously gonna need paint brushes. I have two. One is a little bit smaller than the other. That way I can get in the grout lines easier, but you know, you can just go with one if you got one kind of paint, it'll, it'll work, it'll work. Um, and then also you're going to need, you know, something to cover your area so you ain't going to get paint everywhere. Um, if you ain't got nothing, rip you up a trash bag because that's what I'm about to do. Let's get in there and let's get started. Some would say the most crucial step, go ahead and lay down your trash bag or whatever you got because you don't want this DIY project turning you into needing new floors. All right, here we go. Okay, I am just going to take my smaller paintbrush and dip into the white paint. And I'm going to start by doing the grout lines. So go ahead. And this is kind of time consuming. I'm only doing a small amount on my wall. I would go in and do this right here. At first I wasn't doing this. Uh, but I found that it works a lot better if you do. And it does not have to be perfect. And then you go in. So I just do like a little section. Right here there is the seam. Uh, you just kind of paint through it, paint over it. It really don't matter. And you just kind of do this. It's super simple, super easy. Smear it around everywhere, however you want to do it. Literally when I say this is probably one of the easiest projects to do, don't be doing all that German smear business where you have to stick all this compound and all kinds of mess on here just do paint. It works so easy, so simple, and honestly pretty cheap. I mean. You can find paint pretty much anywhere. So once it looks a little like this, I know it looks a little crazy right now. It looks li what, you know? You're gonna take your fatter brush here. And I'm gonna take my cream color. And I'm just dipping there real quick. And I'm literally not gonna get much, just like barely any at all. And this is when I kinda just go, Whoa. I kinda just kinda like attack it like this. As you do this, you can see some places will get a little bit more paint than others. Some places will look a little bit more distressed. And that's honestly like the whole purpose. So you just kinda go in here and do whatever you can to get in there, get it smearing. But the whole, the main idea is that this grout line is covered and looks good. So right here, I'm kind of upset with how that turned out, but no big deal, no big deal. So you can see I've done the grout right here and go ahead and just take the white line the grout does not have to be perfect at all just kind of messy literally this whole thing is just messy and it works perfect it looks good it'll look distressed and I mean it looks whitewashed at the end of the day depending on where you're putting this it's gonna look good just kind of do like that right there and try not to get too much excess paint uh, you don't you definitely don't want there to be too much because it will uh, run and the runs do show. All right, then you just kind of go in there and do all that business, fill it in just like that. Literally, I'm super messy, super sloppy with this. Uh, it does not have to be perfect whatsoever, but you do kind of want to work a little bit quickly. That's why you want to do sections at a time because you don't want this to necessarily dry. When you put the cream on, you kind of want it to blend together with it. You don't want it sitting on top. And so you just kind of Start blending, about like that. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and dip in the cream area and just start going, going to town. And if you want it to look a little bit more Okay, just a few more little pointers and tricks and details about this project. So, um, these panels are from Lowe's. They are like the, their little faux brick paneling. We actually put this up like over two years ago. Um, and then I painted it last year and I just now finished it. I just now finished that little spot underneath the window. I don't know why it took me this long. I don't, I don't, but anyways, so. I definitely would recommend maybe getting some kind of painter's tape or something to go along the edges of your wall because also, also just like the floor, uh, unless you want to spend money repainting your bedroom, 
uh, get you some painters tape because this will happen this will happen okay that will happen and you know it's really not that big of a deal I'm really not bothered by it um but I am going to repaint our walls and get a little bit more decor in here so it really didn't bother me to begin with um but I also you can see I didn't get super close to the edge here on the grout line so that is one thing you might want to account for uh, when you're doing the piece just to be sure to you know cover the wall totally wherever it's going to go mine's in my bedroom you know if you're trying to do this in like a studio or just like in your main living space you probably want it a little bit more detailed and a little bit you know better quality done than what i've just got chilling in my bedroom that nobody's going to see also since i sit against the wall um right here i like to sit against it and you can see the paint has started to come off right there. I haven't noticed it on my clothes or anything, but that is something to be aware of. Um, if, you, if you're going to be like rubbing up against it or anything, it, it'll, it'll probably come off, you know, but it's okay. Um, if you had a headboard, that wouldn't be a problem. But that is it. I absolutely love it. I think it made the whole room a lot brighter. It made it pop a little bit more. Um, which I really love the macrame piece on the dark wall. I'll be honest. I really love the look of that. Uh, and I do like the just like the regular brick. I think it looks really pretty. I'm trying to be quiet. My husband's asleep in the next room, so sorry if I'm acting a little different. Um, but I just think the white brightens it up so much, and I'm, I'm literally just so obsessed with it. ignore my um, makeshift curtain over there. Um, I had to take that one off so I could let in some light. But uh, you know, that's just to darken the room because why not? Why not just put a blanket up? <laughs> um, but yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed it. I'll get a little bit closer so you can actually see uh, the lines. So this is what it really looks like. Um, and that is also one thing. So when you're doing the downstrokes into the grout lines, if you don't want this like framing of the brick to happen, like, you know, you just want the brick to actually look like this. You don't want this extra line. Be a little bit more precise with your brush strokes. Maybe get a even thinner brush and get in here into your grout line and don't like don't be as messy with it as i am i just kind of went in there and went to whacking um, which I, I really don't mind the way this looks at all i absolutely love it but if you just want a more precise and more authentic look um rather than you know this right here this one's a pretty bad one how it just kind of like framed the inside of the brick um just to do that just just be precise in the grout lines and uh don't don't be as messy so that that will help that situation and i think that's about all i've got to say so i'm gonna go in here and finish editing this video thank you so much for watching i'll be honest i was really trying to make this video 10 minutes long so i could have some more ads put in here but um it don't look like i'm gonna make it unless i start incorporating footage of my baby which i might do i don't know um but, I'll, okay, what I can do, what I can do, I will show you what it looks like from the hallway. How about that? Okay. So, this is what it looks like. So, when you come down the hall, whoop -de -doop -de -doo. maybe I should go take that down off the, let me go take that down. That don't look attractive, does it? Let me take it down. Oh, okay. Much better. Not much better, Stella. Not much better. Okay. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. I absolutely love it, y'all, for real. It is so nice. And it's just me. It is just totally me. What I would really love to do, if our window wasn't right here, I kind of wanted the bed to be shifted down a little bit and to have lanterns um, hanging on the wall. And that be like our little nightstand. But I don't think that that's going to happen. Um... Just because of the way the window situation is and I don't want this walkway to be I don't I don't even know what I'm trying to talk about now but anyways that is the end of the video so I really hope that you enjoyed it if you did give me a big old like and subscribe let me know if you do it um, if you happen to whitewash your wall or do anything like this be sure to tag me on Instagram at Chelsea K Sadler so I can see it and I hope you have a great day and God bless what is it, Stella? Say hey. <laughs> Say hey. <laughs> I love you.